fix the rigs, man. I mean, control. And we're already breaking it up of as it is. What Jen doesn't know won't hurt her. This is my call, all right? If the first minister doesn't like it, she can yell at me. But she almost certainly will. Just tell us where to go, control. I'll do my best. Hey guys, hope you are doing well and welcome back to another video in the Simple Review series. And in today's episode we are doing a game that is very close to the heart of all the people in the Xbox and PC community. The game that I'm talking about is clearly Gears of War 5. For those who is new here, Simple Review is basically a quick and a simple game review without going too deep in the technical details or talk all the fancy terms in a book to look smart in front of you. There are people out there like me without any computer knowledge and honestly have no understanding at all whatsoever of what the fuck of majority of YouTubers are talking about in their game reviews. It's not that I'm saying something bad about them, it's just I think there should be some videos catered to dummies like me. Terms like Abelian Occlusion, Anti-Aliasing or Chromatic Aberration are just terms that are really too hard to understand. Um, I don't fucking know what are those and honestly I don't need to know because people like me have a full-time job and when they get home after a long and tired day they just want to sit down play some cool engaging games and just relax. So this game review is catered to my people, simple motherfuckers who have an average life, average job and like to play some games. Enough talking already, let's do this. So anyway, Gears of War 5 is a third-person shooter video game that was developed by the Coalition and later published by Xbox Game Studios for two different platforms. First platform it will be obviously Microsoft Windows, where the second one was Xbox Gaming Console. And this particular game is actually the sixth installment of Gears of War series and it was released back in September 10, 2019. Just before getting started with this game review, I must mention something straight away that this person is the first one that I played from this franchise and as a new person to this game, I feel kind of lost following up with everything that they had to offer. It is indeed kind of confusing to keep up with everything that happened in previous installments and the numbers of characters we've been introduced in the first 10 hours, it can be very overwhelming at the start of the game. I didn't know who did what or who is who, and this is kind of one of the few setbacks Gears of War 5 has in general. And look, I'm well aware that there's a recap at the start of the game, but still it happened very fast and I didn't understand anything from it. It actually left more questions rather than answer them. So regarding the base price of Gears of War 5, at this moment in time, on Amazon the game is being sold for around 30 euro for a brand new one, and that's included the delivery charge to your house, safe and sound without any major issues. Where the second option is from the guys at GameStop, they are asking for a brand new one for some reason 70 euro or 50 euro for a used one, and that's not including the delivery charge I must add on top of it. So if you are planning to get a game from them in the near future, just think about that you will have to pay extra for the delivery to your house. I honestly have no idea what are they thinking about, for some odd reason they think that they're the only company <laughs> operating around so they ask for these insane prices. There is clearly other and better options out there and matter of fact there are so many of them it will be actually very very hard to include everything in this video. Uh, let's take for instance Facebook Marketplace. You can easily find a really good deal and will actually pay less than you would in the GameStop for instance. But anyway enough talking of them. There is the third option and in my opinion the best out of all of them and that will be by uh, buying the Xbox Game Pass which is a monthly subscription basically that you pay every month to essentially play games. Uh, and last time I checked it was only 10 euro or dollars depending where you are from and you get access to almost 200 different games uh, which in my opinion is really really cool the only downside is actually you don't own these games at all so uh, if the game pass uh, decided to take the games off or you have internet connection as it happens very very often you're not going to be able to actually play them at all and believe me or not i actually discovered this service not too long ago and so far i'm really really happy So let's talk about the game itself now. 
The game is pretty well put together, very engaging storyline and memorable characters. I truly understand why this game is such a big hit for the Xbox and PC community. I also enjoy the means of transportation around this game. It's very out of the box and compared with other shooter games out there. You know, driving jeeps, tanks or flying helicopters, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Another strength that this game brings to the table that I personally enjoyed a lot was the location diversity. You have a chance to visit different military bases, cities, desert, hospital and underground laboratories. You get the point. So far I only encounter actually only two small bugs during my gameplay and I have a good 20, 35 hours at the moment clocked in and honestly I, have, I haven't came across any bugs that would ruin the game for me at all. Where the game is kinda letting us down is in the customization department of the game and more specific the lack of it. That is obviously something personal and keep in mind I'm mainly focusing on talking about the single play campaign, not the online part. The reason for that is I usually don't tend to play games online at all as I'm not really really good at it and even I mentioned a couple of times in my stream it's just it is not working for me. But as far as I understood from the online videos or the, the friends that are playing this game, the game has no problem in this area at all. I personally wish sometimes that this particular game had more gun varieties to choose from or maybe even some cool armor that you can equip and play around. It will make the game more excited in my opinion, especially since we are playing all the time in the third person and can actually see the character. In fairness, sometimes when playing long hours in front of computer or console, it can get very dull looking at the same thing over and over. And again, these are the little issues that personally annoys me, but other than that, the game is actually really nice. Definitely worth a buy, and if you can get it from the Xbox Game Pass, it's even better of a deal. So, if on the weekend you got nothing to do at home and looking for a game with an interesting story, try Gears of War 5, you will not be disappointed for sure. So anyway, thanks everyone for passing by, like and subscribe to the channel if you think I deserve it. And also guys, for those who want, please check out my Twitch account out, usually I tend to stream 3 times a week of different games, and currently I'm doing Generation Zero, which is basically a first person shooter fighting against robots, similar to Terminator. All the links can be found on my YouTube in the about section, or in the description in the box below this video. Thank you very much and i see you next time.